Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Bolt Action EasyArmy.com. Okay, and how it's changing. Mainly, I just wanted to talk about the difference in functionality, the old site versus the new site, and... Uh, and just some appearance differences and button click differences but also just as an, an announcement that it is moving uh, now I've been using the the easy army uh, bolt action easy army.com I've been using that uh, as a tool to help me calculate points and uh, pick my forces for my bolt action games uh, as you know I don't really use uh, points in my games uh we're not like a tournament style game we try to play historical battles with uh with what do you call it uh, with the forces already predetermined pre-selected for both sides uh and easy army is a good way to put it on paper so what i normally would do would be to do something like go to a new platoon i would find whatever platoon I was trying to do, let's say I was trying to make a German unit, right? I would go to German. Now, all these, these are the different German choices that we have. And let's say I was trying to do a... I don't know, late Fulcher Jaeger with Panzer support, right? I would select that. This window would pop up and it would... I would have platoons one, two, three, four, and five. I could even lock it open, giving me, letting me see what are my choices in each of the categories. The ones in red are required for an official tournament. Anything on this list, like you see how it shows you got two medium machine guns. Uh, you're not allowed to take a third medium machine gun. But in my games, if I wanted to have a third machine gun, I would just add a third machine gun. But all I need to do is choose one of these machine guns because it'll give me the machine gun, its range, and all that. Let's just go ahead and select it. Uh, let's pick a regular one, right? And then let's save it. Now up here, I would hit Platoon Save. And then when I went to print it, I would view, print, order a battle so you print that and I usually do it in PDF form so it just prints cleaner that way uh, right there you see the medium machine gun and then what its abilities are because you notice it's a three-man team it talks about teams and it's a fixed weapon talks about fixed and on what page of the rule book you can go and how many points it was if you cared uh, if you had multiple units they would all be listed out uh, and then you could print this. Okay, so let's close that and let's go back to my late war Fulchermeegers. And uh, I could even just go back again, back again. I'm using my uh, back button. And there I go, I'm back. And I could change to maybe British or whatever. And give me all the British. Well, look at that Women's Federation. Okay, uh, but still, it gives me a bunch of different options. It tells me what book it came out of. Uh, it also uh, kind of gives me an idea of what period it's in, and then uh, <clears throat> and you can go from there. Okay, so we're gonna get go away from this bolt action, uh, easyarmy.com. We're actually gonna go to this wg.easyarmy.com, which is Warlord Games. Because he wants to be a little bit more diversified and not focused on just bolt action. Uh, <clears throat> basically, Warlords of Erewhon is the one he's getting started with right now. Uh, yeah, good deal. So let's just, I'm just going to close this uh, site here. And that is the site of the new Warlords, uh, Warlord Games, uh, easyarmy.com. And then you got a couple of links. You can go to the Warlords or you can go to Bolt Action. And as you know, we're more concerned with Bolt Action. So I'm going to click it. And uh, it's it's a little bit more... Uh, the, the full functionality is not there. His design is a little bit different. So you might have to uh, look around to find... I had to spend some time with this site to try to figure out 
what I could and couldn't do. And there's quite a bit that I can't do on this site yet. Uh, he's not closing the original site until this one is up and fully functional, but you can use this site at this time. You can get your account. Uh, you have to get a new account and you have to save your new armies on this site. Uh, and a lot of the links are the same. The armies are the same, uh, but they're laid out a little bit. To me, I think this site's a lot cleaner. I like the way you see your platoons. Let's go to let's go to a saved platoon. There's new and saved. Uh, you would think they would be right there, new and saved, which they are. But there's also buttons right there. I'm going to hit saved right here. Okay, I've got uh, this one's not really saved. This German, I only pulled it up as a as a uh, experiment, and that's so I can just hit X right there to delete it. Do I really want to delete it? Okay, boom, it's gone. Okay, actually, I could delete this one, too. Okay, so I've got this one right here, and it's telling me I've got 12, 11 points. Well, that's not really true. I'm going to pull it up and show you. Okay, because I have... Okay, I just made a mistake. I can always go in and re-add it. It's no problem. I'm still probably going to be adjusting this one as well anyway. Uh, but... I thought this was my platoon. I click it, and it is. It's platoon number one. See the red right there? But I also had a platoon two saved, and uh, the points over here on the right were was a total of the two platoons. Um, I guess when I deleted that second platoon, it actually cleared it out of here. So we're going to experiment. I'm going to go to platoon two. I'm just going to make something. Let's go United States. Why not? I don't think I have to. Maybe I can do British. Let's do British. My my first platoon's American. My second platoon might be British. And then I'm just, this is an experiment. And then we're going to go down here to uh, Market Garden. I don't want it to be air landing, reconnaissance, independent troops. I don't want it to be any of those. I want it just to be a standard British paratrooper unit and I guess I'm going to have to come down here to where it says British reinforced platoon so we're going to click that okay and then you can see that I've got all this all these options I have locked open if I don't have locked open you you can see it right there those are my selectors but if I go with lock open, it'll tell me what's inside each of those selectors. So let's just take a first lieutenant. Uh, there we go. We're going to make him veteran. And now this is an added feature. I get to see uh, the weapons and their abilities on this screen here. I didn't get to see that as clean on the other screen. So I'm going to give him, I'm not going to give him any attendance. It's just going to be him. But I'm going to make a special note, like this unit's mega awesome. I typed that in earlier. But I'm going to click it, and we're going to say uh, Colonel Frost. Even though, even though that's not really what's going to happen, I'm going to delete all this and redo it. But I just wanted you to see that I added Colonel Frost. Now, we're going to save and view what this... No, 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 we're not. No, we're not. We're, going to, we're just going to save, and we're going to back up. There it goes. Shows him right there, and it shows that it's 90 points. Now I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to pick a paratrooper section. I'm going to give maximum, and I'm just going to say this unit is mega awesome. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to save that. Now, and, and you see how it gives me all their abilities. Like, as you can see up here, it says, it doesn't really tell me what their abilities are here, but right here it says stubborn paratroopers, um... They could be equipped with any tank, but I didn't. But so down here it says stubborn British paratroopers. And what that does, tank hunters, if they have grenades, they don't. Entire squad equipped with any tank grenades. Yeah, for two, for two points per model, I did not select that. Okay, so let's go ahead. We already saved. I'm going to save it again just for general purposes. And then we're going to view it. Okay, that's my first platoon. I don't want to view first platoon. 
Oh, okay. So when I hit view, it shows me my first platoon, this black line of all my American infantry that I've already got selected. And then platoon two, which is my British guys right here. And look right here, it says Colonel Frost, and it says these units make her awesome. And it says they're stubborn. Now you notice I did not select grenades, so it doesn't show that. It doesn't show the, anything that I didn't select. Now, uh, it does show tank hunters down here, but that's because it assumes well, it doesn't assume, but the Americans, I had the entire squad equipped with any tank, and they are tank hunters. So, uh, But this gives you all their abilities, like assault, exceptional training, uh, indirect fire, shaped charge, stubborn, British paras. British paras... Okay, they have the same rule as... as American bears and then tank hunters and teams and that's how you could print it out now it tells you how many order dice for the entire two platoon army right um, what I plan to do is make my American hunter first on one platoon and then I'll make a whole nother section a whole nother thing called platoon one with British and then a whole nother thing with platoon three being Americans and then Germans and vice versa. That way, each army will have their own. Because I'm not going to play mixed armies at, and I'm using this specifically for the stats, so that people, when I hand them the sheet, I say, "Hey, this is your group of guys." They can look at it and they can know what's going on. Yeah, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty nice. Uh, we go back to your home by hitting the easy army, or you can go to bolt action there because uh, you can hit the home button. Um, Let's look at new platoon. So you go to a new platoon, right? And uh, you see this little check mark. It says, I've already got a reinforced British platoon. I could click it and it would, re it would open that up again. Uh, now I can, go, I can go up here to select what country I want to uh, choose from. Let's go ahead and choose German. I meant to show this a little bit earlier. Uh, okay, so I'm making a German SS unit at Market Garden. Uh, it's going to be the 10th SS off Clarungs, right? Uh, but I don't want them to be a. Mm, I don't want them to be limited by this army list, because in this army list, I'm going to open it up. You see that you have only. Well, you got these three off. Okay, hold on now. Yeah. Okay. So you got four or five off Clarung squads. At least two of them have to be off Clarungs. But I could do veteran grenadier squads, right? Um, and if I click it, this veteran grenadier squad can be equipped like this. Uh, that's not what I want. I don't want veteran grenadier squads. So we will go back, we'll go back, and I let's go to new, Germany. I'm going to go with German reinforced platoon, because I looked through here, and the only other SS option is the 16th SS training, or the, where is it down here somewhere, there's the Dutch SS. Uh, this is an inexperienced group. Uh, shirkers, and this is the, uh, which one is that? That's also inexperienced, but not shirkers. Okay. So what I want to use is just your standard, uh, where is it at? Reinforce platoon. Click it. Platoon number one already exists. Okay. Turn it back out. Okay. Okay. So here's the German reinforced platoon. Now I can do. Uh, 
off Clorongs, where are they at? Off Clorongs infantry right there. I can, I should be able to do SS. There's an SS late war. That's what I wanted. I wanted SS late war. Uh, and then do a couple of those and then maybe add an off Clorung squad here and there. I don't want it to be uh, off Clorungs and then hair grenadier, right? So I'm just going to click this off Clorungs. It says I'm allowed to have five guys. I can give them assault rifles, you know, and some machine guns if I want. It's out of the market garden book. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. And then the main ones, instead of the hair veteran grenadiers, I was just going to do late war SS. And the reason why, it's going to give me the option to do fanatics, even though I don't know if I'm going to do fanatics. So I might just do grenadiers. I'm not exactly sure how I want to, how I want to word this or how I want to put it together. But you, that's what I'm saying. You can go in different directions. And... Uh, and then you can put notes down there that, you know, what unit they're from. And then when you go to save it, uh, you can um, change the title. Okay, so once you get to the screen here where it says, like, German Reinforced Platoon or what have you, and you're starting to build your squads, you can come up to Options here and give it a custom name. Like, Kent. Like the 10th off Clorong or something like that. And then it'll show right there, 10th off Clorong. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this new WG Easy Army. Uh, I know it's not finished. It doesn't have all the functionality as the old one does. Uh, the, main, the main thing I didn't... Uh, well, I don't know if it's the main thing. But one of the things... Let's go to the homepage. Coming to Easy Army. Let's go to a new platoon. Okay, in, in the old one... I could up here, instead of just picking country, I could pick which book I wanted to bring it out of. I could say Market Garden, and then all the Market Garden armies would show up. Or I could say Sea Lion, and then all the Sea Lion armies would come up. Or Germany Strikes, or and then or I could take, uh, that's the source books, or I could pick the uh, era. I could say Early War, Late War, Desert. Pacific, you know, New Guinea or whatever. I can I could pick the different uh, genres and it would bring all the armies from all the nations there. And then I could, and then from that list, I could hit Germany and it would only show me the Germany ones from that era. That that would be awesome. Uh, and, and I anticipate that's coming. It just hasn't gotten here yet. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming out and checking out this, uh, this, uh, announcement i guess that easy army has moved over to wg easy army and uh it's not fully functional right now but you can start using it and you can print from it and you, most of the armies are over as far as i know uh i haven't really seen an army that hasn't been moved over it's just that all the buttons aren't there yet uh but you can build your armies and you can do everything and you can print it and, and it'll actually look better on the paper uh, one of the things is the is the page breaks on the PDF needs to be added as well. All right, guys. Catch you next time.